the tale of the girl who was sitting by the fire with her kitten. It's a story that was written long ago. You know that she was about to retire when the glass above the fire seemed to suddenly expire like the snow. You know when the way was clear that she disappeared through the looking glass. You know that her name was Alice. So come along if you care, we'll take you there, you must prepare to be a kitty like you were when you read of the kitten by the fire with her kitten in the story that was written long ago. Funny people strolling hand in hand Come along and pass through the looking glass into Wonderland Savage if I've kept her waiting. Oh, oh, oh. oh white rabbit! White rabbit! And if this is her son. Oh, my dear Paul. Oh, my foreign whiskers. Oh, my dear Paul. Oh, my foreign whiskers. Where can I have dropped that fan? The Duchess will have me executed. Isn't it cute? I mustn't frighten him again. Well, my aunt's whiskers. Where did they come from? I'll tell the Queen about this, as sure as ferrets are ferrets. <laughs> <laughs> 
at him to keep him quiet. Well, did it keep him quiet? You don't know much, and that's a fact. The only thing that quiets him is my kitty. Shall I show you? Oh, do, please. We'll sit down. I speak severely to my boy. I beat him when he sleeps there. For he can thoroughly enjoy the pepper when he pleases. Do you really think he can enjoy the pepper when he pleases? I don't. But look, it isn't a baby at all. Oh. <laughs> You should mind your own business. If everybody minded their own business, the world would turn round a deal faster than it does. Which would not be an advantage. You see, it takes the Earth 24 hours to turn round on its axis. Speaking of that, says, chop off his head. The pig's head? His head, your what? head, anybody's oh. head. Long 
Green. <laughs> a fleeter cat. What can I do for you? Would you please tell me which way I ought to walk from here? Oh, that de it depends upon where you want to get this to. I don't much care where. <laughs> then it doesn't much matter which way you walk. As long as I get somewhere. Oh, you're sure to do that if you only walk uh, long enough. <laughs> now, in that direction lives a hatter. And uh, in that uh, direction lives a March Hare. Visit either you like. <laughs> They're both mad. Wow, wow. But I don't like mad people. Oh, you can't help that. We're all mad here. I'm mad, you are mad. How do you know I'm mad? Oh, you must be, or you wouldn't have come here. Oh, uh, but do you do you play croquet with the queen today? I'd like to, but I haven't been invited. Oh, you'll be invited, and uh, you'll uh, you'll see me there. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what became of the baby? <laughs> I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you say a pig uh, or a fig? I said pig. <laughs> I've often seen a cat without a grin. without being invited. I didn't know it was your table. It's made for a great many more than three. Your hair wants cutting. <laughs> you should learn not to make personal remarks. It's very rude. Well, why is a raven like a writing desk? I believe I can guess that. Do you mean you think you can find out the answer to it? Exactly so. Then you should say what you mean. What day of the month is it? The fourth. Two days wrong. Mm -hmm. I told you butter would not do the work. It was the best of butter. Yes, but some crumbs must have got into the work as well. You should not have put it in with a bread. Oh. It was 
the best of what are you know that dormouse is asleep again let's pour a little hot tea on its nose <laughs> <laughs> Of course, of course. Just what I was going to remark myself. Well, have you guessed that little yet? I keep it up. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea. No, I. I think you might do something better with the time than wasting it. In asking riddles that have no answers. If you knew time as well as I do, you wouldn't talk about wasting it. It's him. I don't know what you mean. Of course you don't. <laughs> I dare say you never even spoke to time. Perhaps not. But I know how to beat time and I study music. Oh. That accounts for it. He won't stand with him. Now, if you only kept on good terms with him, he would do almost anything you like in the town. Is that the way you learn it? Stop by! We we swore a large man! <laughs> Just before he went mad, you know. It was at the great concert given by the Queen of Hearts. And I, I had to sing. Uh, I sang, I sang, Sweet Hearts, Sweet Hearts, Sweet Hearts. I wonder what you're at. Hey, you know the song, perhaps. I've heard something like it. Well, it goes on, you know, in this way. Up above the world you fly, a magic of the sky. Do it, do it, do it, do it. When the queen bawled out, he's murdering time. Off with his head. How dreadfully savage. And ever since then, time won't do a thing or ask. It's always six o'clock now. And that's the reason so many sick things are put out there. Yes, and that's it. It's always tea time. And we've no time to wash the things between wires. And you keep moving around, I suppose. Exactly so. Uh, as the things get used up. Uh, take some more tea. <laughs> oh, please do. I haven't had any yet. Oh. So I can't take more. You mean you can't take less? It's very easy to take more than nothing. Nobody asked your opinion. Who's making personal remarks now? I want a clean cup. <coughs> Let's all move one thing off. And mouse traps and a moon and memory and much 
business. You know you say things are much of a muchness. Did you ever see such a thing as a drawing of a muchness? Really? Now you ask me. I don't think... Then you should not talk. Hmm. You're the worst old thing I ever saw. And this is the stupidest tea party I was ever at in all my life. All the Dormouse's fault. Let's put him in the teapot. Up with your heels, old fellow. Who are you? I hardly know, sir, just at present. I knew who I was when I got up this morning. Now, I must have changed this thing. What do you mean? Explain yourself. I can't explain myself, I'm afraid. Because I'm not myself, you see. No, I don't see. Come back. I have something important to say. Now keep your temper. So you think you've changed, do you? I'm afraid I have to. I can't remember things as I used to. Try to remember old Father William. You are old, Father William, the young man said. And your hair has become very white. And yet, you incessantly stand on your head. Do you think... At your age, it is right. You are old, my being. One would hardly suppose that your eye was as steady as ever. Yet you balanced an eel on the end of your nose. What made you so awfully clever? That is not said right. <laughs> not quite right, I'm afraid. Some of the words have got altered. It is wrong from the beginning to end, and I'm disgusted. must be a stranger, so please, Your Majesty. Silence, idiot. What is your name, child? Answer. My name is Alice, so please, Your Majesty. And are you not afraid to come here without a royal invitation? Speak. Since you're only a pack of cards, after all, I needn't be afraid, need I? Off with her head! Off with it, I say! Oh, you, you, you can't cut off my head. But I can cut you like any other pack of cards. Consider, my dear, she is only a child. Why not ask her to join us? Yes, Your Majesty, ask her to dance with us. Who said I wasn't going to, you stupid? Come then, everybody, on with the dance. Where's 
Duchess. She's under sentence of execution. What for? She boxed the Queen's ears. <laughs> hush, hush, hush. The Queen will hear you. You see, she came rather late, and the Queen said... Get to your places. Look, the Duchess. Oh, my foreign whiskers. I must go to her. Why, he must be in love with her. Aha, the Duchess. I thought I sentenced her to execution. Oh, White Rabbit. She calls. I, I must go. I must seem to be loyal. Be what you would seem to be. Never imagine yourself not to be otherwise than what might appear to others that what you were or what you Yes, were. quite so. Look, she summons us. He has a right. Just about as much right as pigs have to fry. Come, we must obey. Well, Duchess, what have you got to say for yourself? So please, Your Majesty. She cannot speak. She is awed by your grace and beauty. See how she bows in admiration. So she does. Well then, let bygones be bygones. She is pardoned. Everybody is pardoned. I am glad to hear it, my love. You were depopulating our dominion. And for you, you are a blundering old goose. <laughs> <laughs> you can't think how glad I am that you came to the party today, you dear old thing. I'm sure I should have been most uncomfortable without my head. You saved it for me. Shall we walk down to the seashore? Have you ever seen a mock turtle, my dear? No. I don't even know what a mock turtle is. Why? It's the thing mock turtle soup is made from. Come. This is a gripe on. Come on, get up, you lazy thing, and take this young lady to see the mock turtle. All right. But I was a real turtle. Oh, oh dear. We went to school in the sea. The schoolmaster was a nose. We call him Tortoise. Why did you call him? We call him Tortoise because he taught us. Oh. Really, you are very dull. I've been to day school, too. With exes? Yes, friends and music. And watching? Certainly not. Oh, then yours wasn't really a good school. Now at ours, they had at the end of the school, friends and music and watching extra. Oh! We were taught reeling and rising and the different branches of arithmetic. Ambition, distraction, uglification, and derision. Mystery, ancient and modern, with geography, then drawing and stretching and fainting in coils. My, what a lot. How many hours a day did you do lessons? Ten hours the first day, 
Nine hours a second, and so on. What a curious plan. That's why they call them the common from day to day. Oh, take right five. Give us a song. I've forgotten the words, but here goes. Where you walk the little parcel that are waiting to us now. There's a papa close behind us, and he's threading on my tail. See how we go lead the lobsters and the turtles all at once. They are waiting on a single. Will you come and join the dance? Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, will you join the dance? Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, won't you join the dance? I know a song about you. It's beautiful. Please sing it. Beautiful too. So rich and green, waiting in a hot wooden bouquet. He would not do so far the evening. Beautiful too. Beautiful too. The case is that a part. Come, Alice, come. a jury. Monstrous! There must be a jury. For right of death home, the mock turtles, the mock plates and petals will be the jury. Of 
Herald, read the exposition. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts, all on a summer's day. The Knave of Hearts, he stole those tarts, and took them quite away. Consider your verdict. Not yet, not yet. There's a great deal to come before that. Call the first witness. Bop, bop, bop. The first witness. I beg pardon, Your Majesty, but I haven't quite finished my tea. You ought to have finished. When did you begin? Forty the master. I think it was. The fifty. The fifty. Take off your hat. It isn't mine. Stolen down. Write that down, Jury. I kicked them to sell. I haven't done any own. I'm a hacker. <laughs> Give your evidence. And don't be nervous, or I'll have you executed on the spot. Bring me a list of the singers in the last course concert. Give your evidence, or I'll have you executed, whether you are nervous or not. I'm a poor man, Your Majesty. You're a poor speaker. Here, here. Silence in the court. The prank that dorm out somebody. I'm glad I've seen that done, Your Majesty. I've often read in the newspapers that some attempt at applause was immediately suppressed by officers of the court. I thought so. You're the pretty rascal who murdered time when you tried to sing at our last royal concert. Off with his head! Ah, no, no! Have mercy! Have mercy, your majesty! I... I am a poor man! I have a hard time most of the time. That's why I wanted to murder a time. Off with his head! <laughs> Wait a moment, my dear. Suppose we make the punishment fit the crime. Let him die oh, no. and see if he can keep time. Mercy, mercy, your majesties. The only time that I can keep it is at tea time. You ask his majesty, please. No, no, no. I must. What are tarts made of? Pepper, mostly. Tarts? 
He's wrong. They're made of treacle. Who? <coughs> Holler that dormouse. Behead that dormouse. Turn the dormouse out of the court. Suppress him. Pinch him. Off with his whiskers. Big dog, quiet. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Silence in the court. No. Where is the cook? She has disappeared, Your Majesty. Oh, never mind. Call the next witness. Ta -ta -ta -ta. The next witness, Alice. Really, my dear, you must cross and jam on this next witness. It quite makes my forehead ache. You haven't forehead, and the one you have is a very little you. <coughs> well, after that, jury, consider your verdict. They haven't got much evidence yet. Tyler, what do you know about this business? Nothing. Nothing whatever? Nothing whatever. That is very important. Unimportant, Your Majesty means. Of course. Unimportant. Of course, I mean. Important. Unimportant. Important. Yuri, write that down. <laughs> Poor thing. But it doesn't matter a bit. Alice. Think you know nothing whatever about this. Give your evidence. Jury, consider your verdict. One moment, Your Majesty. There's more evidence to come yet. This paper has just been picked up. What is it? I haven't opened it yet, but it seems to be a letter written by the prisoner to uh, uh, somebody. It must be that. All right, it is written to nobody. Which isn't quite usual, you know. Who is it directed to? It isn't directed at all. Huh, it isn't a letter after all. It's a set of verses. Are they in the prisoner's handwriting? No, they're not. And that's the queerest thing about it. Why don't you ask the prisoner? I didn't write them and they can't prove that I did. There's no name signed at the end. If you didn't sign it, that only makes the matter worse. You must have meant some mischief, or you'd have signed your name like an honest man. That proves his guilt. It proves nothing of the sort. Boy, how? Read the voices. Read them. Where shall I begin, Your Majesty? Begin at the beginning. Go on until you come to the end. Then stop. They told me you had her and mentioned me to him. She gave me a good character, but said I could not swim. What do you mean by presuming to give me? Me, your king, a good character? But he told you he did not. Right, the verses. Proceed with the verses. He sent them word. I had not gone. We knew it to be true. If she should push the matter on, what would become of you? Doesn't that sound reasonable to you, my dear? Undoubtedly. Off with his head. The worst may be yet to come. If I or she should chance to be involved in this affair, he trusts to you to set them free, exactly as we were. Exactly as we were, you see. Exactly as we were. I think I let the name go free. Idiot. Proceed with the reading. My notion was that you had been before she had this fit. And... What's that? Something about a fit. You never had a fit, did you, my dear? Certainly not. Then, the verse 
doesn't fix you at all. <laughs> Marvelous! Marvelous, your majesty! My subject is right. Idiot! Proceed with the reading. Don't let him know she likes them best, for this must ever be a secret kept from all the rest between yourself and me. Aha! A woman in the case. Who is she? She likes them best. That means he stole the pot for some woman. Was it for the Duchess? Answer me, knave. The, the Duchess? Heaven forbid, Your Majesty. If I took up grand larceny, I'd choose a more beautiful maiden. Now for Alice, I'd steal all the tarts. <laughs> How ridiculous. The verse says she likes them best. Who likes them best? The Duchess. She is mixed up in this business. Bring her before us. My beautiful heart was stolen for you. Name the thief, and you shall go free. Refuse, and have mercy, your majesty. Don't, don't, don't. Speak. What is his name? <laughs> Must I tell? Must I incriminate the one I love? Must I? <laughs> Speak, I command you. The Queen commands you. We command you. Well then, well then, it was. Was. Aha, I knew it. Then I sentenced you to be. You can't sentence anybody until you hear the jury's verdict. We always sentenced them first. And hear the verdict afterwards. Yes. And so I sentence the knave to a life of torture. He must marry the Duchess. Here and now. Mercy, Your Majesty, mercy. Let the Senate be carried out. Bring in the executioner. Hold. Stay the execution. What is the meaning of this? Arrest the white rabbit for contempt of court. Stay where you are, Mignon. I have heard the awful sentence of the court. And under such circumstances, I cannot keep silent. I cannot let another suffer so fearfully for my crime. No, no, white rabbit. It was I who stole the task. It was I who wrote the verses. I, I alone am guilty and must suffer. I will marry the Duchess. Nothing of the sort. I will not permit it. You will not permit it. And who are you? Off with her head! You can't cut off my head! Executioner! Executioner! Off with her head! Come on, all of you! Who's afraid of a false attack of cards?